I think this one is Polish. Yeah, for testament, yeah. Yeah. So this is the street food, but because it's, it's raining, usually it packs a lot of people, like literally. And here you can see a lot of food. And right now, I'm in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, and it's raining. It sucks though, but better than nothing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So shit happens. The hotel broke down. The electricity is off. So we cannot go up to our room. The lift is broken. The electricity is cut off. I don't know what happened. And the room, they don't have AC on the room. It's 10 p.m. right now. I'm tired as hell. I'm asking for the refund. This kind of thing is an inevitable. Things that will happen when you travel. But the most important thing, just relax. Have fun because this is life. Everything could happen. So guys, fortunately, they changed my room. So I got another room in another hotel. They kind of changed it. So I'm going to stay here in another hotel. So that's that's it for today. I'm really tired. It's around like 11 p.m. here, and we're not checking yet. We just arrived here. So yeah. Hola. So, this is actually Chinese breakfast. Half boiled egg, bread with srikaya and tetari. Basically, tetari is teh with milk, condensed milk. So, how do you eat it? It's you put soy sauce and then pepper. And then you eat it. Or you can also like this. And this one. You can put this on the axe. So that is the Chinese breakfast. It's really popular and it's really delicious. Go try it. So another interesting thing that I found in Malaysia, look not for sale in India. I don't know why it's said not for sale in India. Or is it because like it's from cow? No. But in India they, they drink cow milk. This makes me curious. I need to find the reason out of this. Hello, so basically this is a very ran random adventure. I don't even remember why I'm here and what brings me here. I just like walking around and I found an art exhibition in a mall. And it's quite a lot. Like here, you have another artwork and this one too. It's quite a lot. Mira. Siempre necesito libro en idiomas que yo hablo. 
Entonces, como necesito libros en español, italiano, portugués, alemán y francés. ¿Ok? Necesito eso. ¡Uh! Un libro de Netherlands, Engels. Ah, esto es francés. Esto también. Esto también. No origen du silence. I think this one is Polish. ¿Es this Polish? ¡Uh! Español, Nuevo Testamento. Este libro no será vendido. 10 ringgit. 2 dólares. Actually, they put the Nuevo Testamento in the fiction part. I don't know. I don't find any Italian, Portuguese, or Spanish book, unfortunately. Most of these are English, a little bit of French, and some Germans, and one Polish book, and a lot of Chinese book, of course. Of course. I mean, since like Malaysian, the I think like Chinese like would be like the second biggest language here, and then India. You know the amazing thing about Malaysia. How is it El Promino? The average, yeah, the average people of Malaysia, they speak kind of like three language. Okay, if they're born in a Chinese family, they speak kind of like three until four languages. Imagine that. Malay, of course, because you're like in Malaysia, and which already you automatically understand Indonesian. So, also, even though not like 100%, but I would say like around 80%. And then the second one, English, because this is like, in this country, English is very useful. I would say like everyone speaks English here. Yeah. And in Chinese, and you're born in a family, in a Chinese family, Chinese is like really important. And then Hokkien also. It's crazy though. They speak kind of like five languages, mention them. No me la contes. Después 30 minutos en esta librería esperando a alguien para regresar, acabo de darme cuenta que esta librería es un self-service bookstore. Entonces, ¿qué es eso? Tomas tus, toma tus libros, contalo, págalo aquí. Mándalo a los WhatsApp. Qué bueno, eso si eso pasa en Indonesia. Creo que adiós todos. Todos los libros, chao. Yo sé porque una vez en mi escuela hicimos este tipo de cosas como self service de can cantín. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Cantín, como cafetería. Y ter terminó muy mal. Terminó muy mal. Yo creo que como alguien como robó mucha plata. Y por eso. Pero aquí no. So, at the end, I will buy this. No reason to silos. And it cost me around 7 ringgit. That's kind of like less than 2 dollars. It's a good one. Actually, it's like a translation from the English book. That's okay. I, mean, I needed to practice my French. So, what to do? You can pay it with cash. And the way you do it, insert money on the cash box. It's mine. That's it. Really easy, really simple. This is What do you think? Like, does it justify a sandwich to kill an animal, to torture an animal? I'm vegetarian. Are you vegetarian? I'm vegan. You're vegan. vegan. That means I don't take anything from animals. No milk, no eggs, nothing from animals. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, four years. Four years. Yeah. And how's the pro? How's the progress? It's good. I mean, are you always like going to McDonald's or? There used to be a KFC there. KFC? So we used to do that, then the KFC closed down. The KFC closed down because of. I don't know. We go where we can talk to people. We don't focus on the restaurant. Are you like from the Pita? Are no. you, you're not from we Pita. Are from anonymous for the voiceless. Anonymous for the voiceless. Yeah. Are you are interviewing you? us? It's okay. It's okay. I, I make YouTube. Oh. So, unfortunately, the guy. I wanted to record him, actually, 
But teacher, he, he said to me like, no, just record the activities that we do. I wanted to ask him more about his movement and what his belief, what is his belief and everything of that. But he didn't want to get recorded. So yeah. Things that happen in Thailand. So four girls want to take all of their bags, their belongings, but it's too much. End of the day, they made it. Nice. So that's kind of like the Southeast Asian thing. Like we know that we bring a lot of things, but and we know that like a normal car or the SUV. It wouldn't be enough but the thing is we don't want to pay more than that it's just kind of like we just order the suv and we push everything inside with the hope that it fits so that's like the southeast asian thing i guess because as us in the nation we do that a lot and i see it here in thailand they do they do that too i don't know in any other country but i think yeah that's the interesting day of the day Oh, okay. This is big. I didn't expect this. Wow. Thank you. Look at the size, bro. It's really big. Mira, crocodilo. One oh, spicy. One hundred, yeah. Oh, we put in my first. Sure, that's good. The crocodile. So let's try crocodilation. It's like the between a beef, no, and tira. Between like a pork and a chicken. It's nice though. Recommend it. So as you can see, this is the mall which called I can see if I'm not wrong, this is the mall where the shooting was happened, I think like a few months ago, I think in October, something like that. I don't know if you ever see, seen it in the internet, but in Indonesia, we saw a lot of videos of it. And right now, it's really, I mean, right now it's clearly look good. I mean, nothing, nothing happens. And as you can see, the mall is a lot more strict. I mean, as you can see, every time someone who gets in, they will check the bag. Everyone, no matter woman or men. It's for the safety reason. Let's hope that nothing will happen again. I mean, this mall is kind of like the first class mall, I would say, because everything you see here is like a branded thing. Yeah. I mean, as an Indonesian, I live in a city called Surabaya, where my city, we have around 20 malls. So for me, malls kind of like something really normal. But this one is kind of like impressive. Impresionante. Yeah. Also like this is like a good mall.
，鱼也最乎哎。几岁？二十六。二十六。二十六。二十六岁。二十六岁。小咪介，小姑娘。嗯，写字、写工、写跳舞、舞舞舞啊，舞啊。今今日也聚会呢？接啦会。接啦。当然接啦。接啦会。接啦会的二接啦会。二接啦会。二接啦会。起初有好，写舞啊，给努力又更好。伊咪起起初，但样唔是唔是呢个，但系我哋要变好。嗯，系。我佢只爸爸做当铺，当兵啊，住。哦。改革嘅阿王。但系佢老气，一步一步会。啊。会做。我话你话，如果你想做，就唔会做。唔会做。要 step by step。阿姐，做在，做里边。对，当。มังคุกนี่แหละก็ฝั่งทนน่ะคือฝั่งทนพวกแก่การเช่นต่อคลองสิบสี่ก่อนแล้วก็ต่อต่อบางบอลกูหน่อยแก่การเชี่ยงเด็กแก่การเชี่ยงจ่อจ่อตองเอี้ยตองเอี้ยเจ้าเอ้ยตองเอี้ย looks delicious Smells like Sprite with the, I don't know, with another thingy, with the blue one. Like a essence. Yeah, that's the word. Tastes good, sweet, of course. This is a joke. I don't think this is a wheat, but this tastes like a normal refresco. I don't know, like a normal. Coca Cola, Sprite, that those kind of thing. Yeah, fifty cents. Worth to try. This is quite interesting because in their altar they put Fanta. This is like the second altar that I met that I've seen, where there's a lot of Fanta. I'm quite interested in this actually. Basically, this is where you pray, and it's like the two gods you can pray. The first one is Ganesha, and the second one is the Murti. And then they, they kind of like sell it. The set for you to pray. For me, it's kind of like interesting. As you can see, it's kind of interesting. So, if you want to pray, try anything. For a job, for luck, you can do it here. Yeah. Sawadi Cup from Thailand. So yesterday, I found an altar, altar like this, as you can see behind me. But yesterday, I found it, an altar with the red panta. So they put kind of like a red panta. So I check it out in the internet and also talk with some locals. The reason is. There are two reasons. Okay, the first one is the spiritual reason. So before in Thailand, in Thailand, they use their own blood or maybe like animal blood to sacrifice it, to put it in their altar, right? Like today, it's quite hard to get that red blood, so they kind of like substitute it with nam dying, nam which means water, dying which means red. So they kind of they kind of like looking for the substitution. A red water, and that is Fanta, and yeah, so that's like the reason why they changed from the blood to the red Fanta because they kind of like looking for the same red. And the second one is the color signification, the meaning of the color. So in Chinese culture, red means lucky. If you're Chinese, you know it. Red means lucky. In the Chinese New Year, everything is red. So yeah, those are like the two reasons why in Thailand they use red Fanta. 
in their altars. Guys, I think this is like the biggest Apple store in the world. I guess. Because it's like really big. Let's see what's inside. Noom Ela Contes. Okay, so it's like AirPods, music, TV. They even have this. No, I don't know how to say it in English. But this is super neat. Then you'll be glad about it. Exactly. Look at the case. Complete. If you see the size of this Apple store, wow. I would say they like they're like a dick of an iPhone. iPhone a dick, one hundred percent. Oh, they also sell the straps for the iWatch. And for you guys who wants to know how much the iPhone in Thailand, so I asked the iPhone 15 with the 128 gigabytes here in Thailand, and it costs around 900 bucks more or less. And if you buy it, they will give you back the five percent because you don't have to pay any taxes here. So uh, they will give you back 45 dollars. So at the end, the price of an iPhone is 800. 55. I would say that's like a really good price because in Indonesia, no, it would be around one thousand dollars, more or less. Uh, but I say like more than one thousand dollars. So, if you want to buy your iPhone, if you're from Indonesia, come here. It's a lot more cheaper, and also you can get to travel to Thailand. So. It's my last day on Thailand. This is my first vlog ever. Like, I don't speak with any strangers. I don't speak with anyone. It's just me in this video. And yeah, I always wanted to do it. Like this kind of vlog. It's quite awkward, actually. I don't, I'm not used to it yet. I'm sure when, I, when I'm with people, when I talk with people, I can get a really nice talk with them. But when I need to talk alone, like this I don't know if I can do it so right now I'm just doing it hoping for the best so give me your feedback on the com comment section and also another thing that I want to say to you guys si quieres como empezar a hacer algo hazlo nada más ok no pienses demasiado o sea como hacerlo que va a pasar si esto no funcione toda esa cosa o sea déjalo ok Hazlo nada más y tú vas a aprender de ahí. Porque, por ejemplo, si tú nunca, o sea, siempre como piensas, piensas, piensas así, al final no lo vas a hacer. Y si no lo hagas, ¿cómo vas a mejorar? Es imposible, Lionel Messi, cuando tocó la pelota, jugó así, tan bueno. Imposible. Así que como un buen jugador hace muchos errores, pero nunca se rinde. Así que hazlo nada más. Aguante chicos.